this great evening. It has been brought to my attention from those who have found spiritually relief in my prayers. And after receiving four calls relating to this matter, after praying, I decided to issue this exclusive prayer for our beloved sister in Christ, Halle Berry. Now, many of you may have wondered why do I always call people, whether it's a man or a woman, a sister in Christ. And the reason I do that because if you are truly trying to walk by faith and you're truly trying to live a Christian life, all of us are sisters and brothers in Christ. Whether we are in the beautiful light of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ beaming down on us from heaven, or even if you are brother or sister who have found yourself in the dark for some reason, find yourself all wrapped up in sin, but that doesn't mean that God cannot send his angels down and bless your dark spirit and turn it into a true ritual spirit that he has redeemed in his laboratory in redemption and dipping your blood down in his son Jesus Christ's blood and bring your blood and purify it to be as white as snow. In other words, Lord and Savior is in the business of taking sinful sins, sins that are lost or just made the temporary confused in the wrong journey of direction and turning it into something, righteousness, and setting you on the course. May we pray. Oh, Heavenly Father, we come to you this late evening. Thanking you once again, O oh Heavenly Father, for your Son, Jesus Christ. Thanking you, O oh Heavenly Father, for the grace and mercy that you have spared us, O oh Heavenly Father. Father, I come to you at this time. Coming to you, Father, for our very own sister in Christ, Sister Halle Berry. Oh, Father, she's going through some difficult times right now. But one thing we have learned by you allowing us to go through difficult times, Father, we have learned that when it's all said and done, when we come out of the midst of the storm, that we have found ourselves much stronger because of a belief, O oh, Heavenly Father, in you and our Son, Jesus Christ. Sister Halle Berry is no different from any ordinary stranger. She's no different from anyone, oh, Heavenly Father, on this earth. Because trying to be a Christian and do the right thing is a difficult task. But the reward is a ritual. Ritual in knowing that we are have salvation and an eternal life. Merciful Father, I ask that you send your angels down and touch the spirit of her soul, O oh Heavenly Father. Touch her mind, O oh Heavenly Father. Give her and relief the burdens of her heart as well as her family. And Father, she has been in this mist before, but in a different way without a birth of a child. But now, Father, we have a two-year-old child involved. And I pray, Father, that you bring Sister Barry and the spouse, Father, 
her sons, Father, that you will bring them together in peace and harmony so that they can be individually good parents. Lord, if it's your will that they remain divided from different roots, but they at least continue to embrace and support one another as parents of their child. Oh, Father, I ask that you continue to bless Sister Halle Berry and her career, but the career is not as important, Father, as you continue to guide her on a journey, knowing that you are first in everything that she does. And all of her blessings come from you, O oh Heavenly Father, and that she continue to recognize that. And continue to do your will, Father. Oh, merciful Father, we ask right here, right now, that you continue to bless her mother and her family. Oh, merciful Father, we ask that you continue, Father, to give her the guidance and the support that she will need to be a better person today than she may have been yesterday. That you cleanse her, Father. Wipe away all of her sins, O oh Heavenly Father. Oh, merciful Father, none of us can judge one another. We all have made mistakes in life, thinking that the decision we made back then was the right thing to do. Later on, we'll find that that decision brings us a burden of sadness, sometimes hard broken. Then sometime, Father, we'll find that our decision we make is a relief. And you said, oh, Heavenly Father, that if we bring you your burdens, that the burdens may be heavy, but the yoke is light. Make her yoke like, oh, Heavenly Father, and put her to continue to be on the path that you have for her, oh, Heavenly Father. Oh, merciful Father, none of us can make it without you. We've tried and we fail each and every time. But we thank you, O oh Heavenly Father, for your Son, Jesus' blood, that shed on the cross of Calvary for us, O oh Heavenly Father. Father, we realize and understand that money may buy us materialistic things, but money cannot Send us to heaven. Materialistic diamonds and jewels and cars and mansions won't get us to heaven, O oh Heavenly Father. We must be willing to sacrifice the fleshly need in order to satisfy the spiritual need, O oh Heavenly Father. Father, continue to walk with her. I ask that you send your angels around to protect her and their child as the child grown up in life, Father. And, oh, Heavenly Father, help her to be the very best mom that you have her to be and her child's father to be the very best father that he can be, that you can have him to be, and can have her to be, Father, as a mother. Oh, merciful Father, we thank you, Heavenly Father. Father, we know that many more dark days and dark nights will come upon us. Many more trials and tribulations will be cast upon us. It is not your desire for none of us to suffer or to be in pain, whatever the situation may be. But it's just a test of test of times and a test of our faith to see whether or not we're going to hold on to your godly change hands. And I pray that she will continue to do this. This we ask in your son Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen.